Violet, you've been known to have sex with fans. Yeah. So how did how did that start? That's like every fan's dream is that yeah. like they might be able to have sex with their favorite porn star mm-hmm. and most most have their hopes dashed. Yeah. But uh you're not out there killing dreams. You're making it happen. So <laughs> how did that start? Oh my god, this happened like a while ago. Like I used to like this was like even before I had a lot of followers. Like I was just like this guy is like really cute and he follows me. Like I want to fuck him. Like I didn't really think too much of it as a, as a, like a, a fuck a fat as I do now. I was just mm-hmm. like this guy's cute. I want to fuck yeah. him. Yeah. But how it started getting into like the fuck a fan was I just was like bored. This was before quarantine and everything. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm bored. I'm in LA. Like, I want to make some extra money. I'm going to like pay for the fans test and like sell it. Cause I know guys like really like jerking off to like guys that have like normal sized dicks. Like mm. it's cool with the big dicks, but yeah. they want to see like somebody that they real. feel like could be them. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, man, I can, I can definitely do this. And like, I remember Riley Reed did the fuck a fan mm-hmm. on her YouTube. I was like, I should do that too. Like, that sounds like fun. Cause I was already doing it. I was like, I should just start a fuck a fan series. So then that's how it started. Like I remember in 2019, I just met like some random guy on my only fans. Like he was a subscriber he got tested we met and like we fucked and we filmed it and then i was like this is cool like i'm like really into it these guys are cute they're they're fans like it's different when it's a fan versus like a normal guy because a fan is like he'll worship you and like Mm -hmm. he like jerks off to you like he knows like how to fuck versus like a normal guy he's like whatever like next girl like i like the guys that like worship me like that's yeah so like but like so, I mean, I, I would just love to see their reaction when they meet you. I mean, do they... They're so nervous. Yeah, I was going to say, like, part of them must be like, this has got this can't be happening. I've had some troubles, too, where, like, they're so... Probably so nervous how they couldn't so get So nervous up. they can't stay hard. So yeah. like, sometimes they can, like, fuck up the performance. But, mm-hmm. like, I'm so chill. And I can just talk to them, like, hey, what's wrong? Like, I understand. Like, it's, it's me. You're not used to, like, seeing me mm-hmm. in person versus on camera. But, like you're going to need to fuck me and we could film it and you could always jerk off to this. So like, Mm -hmm. like they get out of their head and then we fuck. So, yeah, it's hard sometimes to get guys out of their head when they like, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure, you know, I mean, I've, you know, been in this industry for a long time and I've, you know, had a lot of situations where guys like start once they like that struggle bus starts, they overthink. And then it's like, they can't get their mojo back. Yeah. I've had that happen. And Luckily, like, um, I'll just suck their dick. <laughs> See, but that's nice of you because sometimes performers won't help at all. Yeah. And like, look, it's it's up to you. Like, everyone's I'm not different. Everyone's different. I mean, sometimes I will have to pull a girl aside and be like, look, we all want to go home. I know you want to go home. Um, maybe you could help them like a little bit. Like, just, oh, I'm a trooper. Just a little bit. Yeah. And, and then they'll be like, okay, you know. But some girls like will be like, oh, he has to get hard in his own. And I'm like, yeah, oh. I get that too. I get that too. But also like, you know. It's work. It's work. <laughs> and like, do you want to go home? Or yeah. like, what do you want to do here? Like, we all want to finish the scene. Like, dude, I'm about to take my tits out. Because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <sighs> you got to put in the work. But no, I <laughs> genuinely love sucking dick. So it's not, it's not a problem for me. <laughs> What is it about, like, giving blowjobs that you love so much? I think it's because, like, I'm in control of the dick. Like, Mm -hmm. and I don't know. I think before I even, like, lost my virginity, I was sucking dick. So it's just second nature to me. (laughs) And it's, like, it's, like, pretty hot when you can, like, make a guy come with your mouth versus Mm -hmm. your pussy. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I think there there is a lot of power around that. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think of it in the same way as like I literally like your dicks in my mouth right now. I could either like make you come with like my mouth, or I could bite your dick off if exactly, I wanted to. Like too. your I dick your is, and- yeah, your <laughs> dick is in my hands. Like I could make this go either way for you. Yeah, I can twist it. Like I've, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I can do stuff. But no, I'm like also with the folk events too. It's like brings us closer. Mm-hmm. Like I've taken a few virginities. Really? Yeah. Wow. And it's just like. Can a you different... imagine like being that guy that gets to lose your virginity to your favorite? Oh my God. Star? I wish I was a guy. I really wish I was a guy. Cause I would be, I would be an advocate for like prostitutes. I'd yeah. be like, we need equal rights. Like, <laughs> cause I, like I, sometimes I wish I was a guy. 
because I just women. It's hard to be straight when like women are so attractive. So like, <laughs> if like if I was a guy, I would lose my virginity to a porn star. I don't care if that girl in school is like the hottest chick. No, I want a porn star to take my virginity. So yeah. like. I, I feel like in a previous life, I was a guy. So, like, mm-hmm. that's why I feel really close to, like, my guy fans, too. Because I get it. Like, when they get starstruck, I'm like, dude, I get it. Like, they want to grab my ass. I'm like, just don't grab it too hard, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm just, like, the people person with them. And yeah. I think that's why I have, like, a really close relationship with my fans, too. Because I get it. I know what it's like to be a fan. Because I'm a fan of other people, too. And, like, I like treating them equally. And... I don't like having that big head because I've met girls and guys with big heads and I don't want to be that person. Yeah. You just want to stay like this, the violet you were before you came into the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I I bet that that resonates with people. And also too, like in this new era of, you know, the personal content platforms, the OnlyFans and whatnot, your relationship with your fans is everything. Oh, yes. Whereas before that didn't really matter so much, but now like that's your bread and butter. So that's, I can imagine that you do incredibly well in that area because of like your camaraderie with your fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) That's so sweet. Um, Would you ever date a fan, do you think? Or do you think like only the sex thing? You know, I would would say both. The thing with dating a fan, it would be kind of hard because I'm jealous. Mm. So like if he's jerked off to another girl that's my friend, I'll be like kind of jealous in a way. So it would be kind of hard if I was to date a fan. He would have like... That's a good question. I don't, I don't but think. though any guy you date would have jerked off to somebody else uh, at some that's point. True. That's true. That's true. You know? So with the dating of fan, I feel like he'd be more loyal to me than the normal guy. Because mm-hmm. he's like always wanted me. So now that he has me, mm-hmm. he wants to keep me. Yeah. So that would be a possibility. But I don't know in the future. Yeah. If I would do that because I don't I don't know too much. It's, it's scary dating. So Yeah. I was going to ask, is it is it hard? It can be hard. Yeah. What's the biggest obstacle that you encounter? Definitely with my job. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it can be hard for people to dis- disassociate my personal life and my my work life. So mm-hmm. jealousy can come with it. And I've had guys where they don't want to date me because of what I do because they feel like they're smaller and like the guys I'm fucking are really big. So they're mm-hmm. that's an insecurity issue. So I'm I can have my own insecurities and like my own issues, but most of the time it's my personal like self, not my work life. So that's like a hard thing for most men to like separate the two. And mm-hmm. I get it. 